you, Evan. And hi to everyone. It's such a pleasure to present to you today, once again, on this convergence of three fundamental topics, which are investments, behavioral finance, and artificial intelligence. In 2019, the CFA Institute produced a handbook called the AI Pioneers in Investment Management, where the Institute ascribed an artificial intelligence plus human intelligence model where AI could augment traditional investment analysis so that professionals in the investment industry could reach higher levels of decision making that leverages the collective intelligence of man and machines. This moves beyond just simply freeing up time for investment professionals, but rather incorporating AI and exploiting new technologies that ultimately lead to better serving our clients. We have always known that artificial intelligence and machine learning is only as good as the data which it uh, needs to learn from and that overfitting needs to be mitigated. Machine learning techniques incorporating traditional big data were seen to be more suited for systematic strategies, while unstructured and alternative data sources was typically used by active management uh, to provide fund managers with one of the biggest opportunities sets yet, particularly since active fund managers have been criticized more recently for underperforming passive and indexation strategies. Natural language processing is a foundational AI that allows for machines to understand, interpret, and respond to human language. This tech analyzes human language and words into structured and understandable information for machines. Early on, these were hard-coded rules, but has evolved to use statistical and machine learning techniques to learn language patterns from enormous data sets. So natural language processing can perform sentiment analysis, language translation, and speech recognition. Large language models is next in the evolution and has been a huge step up from NLPs. Large language models like ChatGPT use deep learning to process and generate human language on an enormous scale. Large language models are trained from data sets, books, articles, and websites. So this um, extensive training allows them to generate coherent uh, conversations with humans, which are actually quite contextual. Uh, generative AI has taken large language models now onto the next level, allowing for the uh, generation of new content, such as uh, a poem, a story, or even new pieces of code. So with this quick overview, I can now describe how the, these types of artificial intelligence has been incorporated into finance and investments. An important benefit of incorporating AI into investment decision-making processes is that it speeds up and is more all-encompassing of what asset managers need to do on a daily basis, which is to incorporate new data and new information into their investment thinking. Analysts and portfolio managers assess investment opportunities by understanding companies, industries, and economies. Therefore, initial applications of NLP involved summarizing big alternative data such as customer reviews and social media content to gauge a public sentiment on companies and their products. Natural language processing also assists with reviewing government data, news, tweets, and public data sources, and can provide real-time insights which can influence investment decisions across asset classes. Analysts and portfolio managers see comprehensive data, including financial, competitor, and supplier and customer information. So alternative data sources like geolocation and footfall data offer more comprehensive insights compared to traditional financial analysis. And therefore, for investment professionals to take advantage of these AI technologies, they would have to develop T-shaped skills or investment companies would have to develop T-shaped teams. This is referenced in the CFA Institute's 2019 publication on investment professionals of the future, changing roles, skills, and organization cultures. T-shaped is a metaphor used to describe individuals who have a breadth of knowledge across experience and skill while being an expert in one field. Therefore, this individual goes beyond being a generalist.
For investment professionals, what this means is that they would have to develop skills or take advantage of innovation and data science so that they can drive NLP and large language technologies that can help facilitate or augment their analysis. For investment professionals, having T-shaped skills and experience, particularly in behavioral finance and ESG, allows them to be better professionals for the future. Therefore, investment professionals cannot just be an expert on investments, whether it's identifying or analyzing an idea, blending them in a portfolio or managing risks, but rather a T-shaped investment professional has the skills and attributes to integrate big data, machine learning and other artificial intelligence technology to find more opportunities or opportunities that become more visible with the use of AI and to think about portfolio construction and risk management from a multitude of perspectives which AI can offer. Now turning to investment use cases. Before I move on, it's really important that these use cases are used with caution because they have to be appropriate for the investment strategy and the uh, investment approach which a fund manager uses. But a simple starting point is the use of um, machine learning to do auto rebalancing, which may address some behavioral concerns, such as portfolio managers chasing winners. Artificial intelligence can help with framing information, highlighting key data and reducing complexity and helping analysts quickly grasp trends and anomalies without getting bogged down in the detail. Artificial intelligence can assist with showing the impact of decisions over the long term um, and this type of scenario analysis can also be used in investment risk management. Structured decisions, processes and checklists may also work for certain investment approaches and these can be used to ensure that all relevant factors are considered and help prevent oversight due to cognitive biases. Another interesting use of AI is to do a pre-mortem analysis, and this can be done using a chat GPT or a large language model, which encourages analysts to think about an, an investment going wrong and then helping them backtrack and to identify what are the potential risks and reasons for their failure. And another important element about managing money is being able to reflect on investment decisions to determine whether it was good investment thinking or just luck that really impacted on the performance. It may also be tempting for portfolio managers to believe that they were right, but the market got it wrong. And where AI can assist is provide regular and almost sometimes real-time feedback on these decisions and outcomes. And this, this types of reporting could typically take a lot of time and many man hours to produce, but AI and machine learning can do that a lot more seamlessly and it can also help identify behavioral bias and analysts and portfolio managers then go on to have a conversation with their large language models to determine what could have been done to mitigate these behavioral biases. To the right, we have some famous, or should I rather say infamous behavioral bias of analysts and portfolio managers. Um, this topic is, a, is very important and a key part of the body of knowledge for the CFA program, particularly at level three. A large part of this content or body of knowledge focuses on investors themselves and the um, biases that they have could, that could lead to suboptimal portfolios and returns. And a large component of it also focuses on the behavioral biases of investment professionals. The most infamous bias is overconfidence, which is overestimating one's own ability to predict market movements or pick winning stocks, leading to excessive trading and risk taking. Machine learning can be used to develop models that analyze historical performance data to provide realistic assessments of an analyst or portfolio manager's predictive abilities, helping to re-collaborate overconfident expectations. Natural language processing can be used to analyze market reports and expert opinions and other research, providing balanced insights or diverse viewpoints that counteract overconfident beliefs. The second example here is confirmation bias and anchoring, which is a behavior 
when seeking out information that confirms pre-existing beliefs and ignoring contradictory evidence, leading to skewed analysis and decisions or relying too heavily on the first piece of information encountered when making decisions, even if it is completely irrelevant. Again, using natural language processing to perform sentiment analysis on financial news and reports, highlighting both positive and negative information relevant to the decision can help mitigate this behavioral bias. Or generative AI can be used to create hypothetical scenarios that show the potential consequence of ignoring contradictory evidence. Herd behavior is where investors follow the action of a larger group, often leading to irrational market trends and bubbles. This can be mitigated by developing machine learning models that identify herd behavior patterns, either in trading data or other types of alerts. And um, it can then uh, alert the analyst to potential market bubbles or corrections. Natural language processing can be used to, to highlight trends uh, driven by herd behavior, or large language models can be used to generate independent analysis, which is at a contrast with the prevailing market sentiment. Again, all of this is encouraging analysts and portfolio managers to consider contrarian viewpoints. Our last example here is cognitive dissonance, which is the discomfort of holding conflicting ideas leading to rationalizing or ignoring new information that contradicts existing beliefs, leading to either the other bias, such as confirmation bias or anchoring. Here, what machine learning models can do is continuously integrate new data and provide an unbiased analysis that can help reduce the tendency to ignore conflicting information. So from this slide, we show that by leveraging artificial intelligence technologies, investment analysts and portfolio managers can better recognize and mitigate their behavioral biases, leading to more rational and effective decision making. On the next slide, we are discussing how AI can help better ESG analysis. Analysts often overlook or insufficiently detail out environmental, social and governance factors in their valuations, even though these factors can significantly impact a company's long term performance and risk profile. This deficiency can be due to a variety of reasons, including the lack of ESG data or standardized ways or processes for integrating ESG data into traditional financial analysis. Often ESG assessments are framed more from a risk management perspective rather than being seen as value creation or as an opportunity. Analysts incorporating ESG information may also be more reactive rather than proactive. Here, machine learning could improve ESG assessments by analyzing diverse and large data sets, integrating ESG metrics with traditional financial data to provide a more holistic view of a company's performance and risks. AI could be used to create models that predict how ESG factors might influence the future financial performance, helping analysts to incorporate these into their valuations. Sentiment analysis about a company's ESG performance, uh, providing real-time insights that might be missed by traditional analysis, can all help with the scoring of companies on their ESG performance. And again, this, this is a way in which analysts can augment the current ESG evaluations that they are doing. What is interesting is when looking at ESG and breaking it down into its individual components, environmental um, issues um, can come to the fore much better with machine learning, which can detect trends in environmental issues or regulatory issues and what that could mean for the potential companies that these analysts are covering. Also, social factors like labor practices, community relations, and supply chain ethics are often underanalyzed. And again, here, machine learning models can take in vast amounts of unstructured data and from there detect emerging social issues that could impact on a company's reputation and operational stability. Governance is a very important component in making an investment decision. 
And here, machine learning algorithms can evaluate a company's governance practices, board compositions, executive compensation, and compare them to other companies and industry standards and highlight any discrepancies or risks. There may be use cases that suggest that machine learning could also help detect governance failures in detecting anomalies where algorithms analyze financial data and identify anomalies or patterns that are not easily detected by human analysts. Large language models could flag the discrepancies between earnings and cash flows. Early on, all machine learning models can uncover hidden relationships or patterns within the financial data. This could reveal suspicious activity such as unusual financial stru structuring. What we have shown today is that there are many examples of where artificial intelligence, machine learning, and other AI tech can be incorporated into investment decision-making. And these can also incorporate the behavioral science component. All of this comes together in terms of leveraging the tools to enhance our human capabilities so that we can make more informed, rational and effective investment decisions. By doing so, we can better serve our clients and contribute to a more sustainable investment landscape. Thank you for your time.